Hello guys. As we know that the carbon is capable of making millions of compounds, for us it is not possible to remember the names of all million compounds. So here in this video, I am going to tell you how to name steep chain hydrocarbons. First of all, let us recall what do you mean by hydrocarbons. I hope you remember it. Let me recall it to you. Hydrocarbons. As the name is indicating, hydrocarbons are the compounds having hydrogen and carbons in them. They are further classified as the compounds having single bond in them, the compounds having double bond in them and the compounds having triple bond in them. The compounds having single bond are known as alkanes what they are known as alkanes and the compounds having double bond in them are known as alkenes and the compounds which are having their triple bond in them are known as alkanes. Now I am going to start the naming of hydrocarbons very simple and consisting of only two parts the first part with which we have to start is word root which is further added to the primary suffix so we have two parts in the naming the word root and the primary suffix this word root which tell you about the number of carbon atoms in hydrocarbon chain so I hope you understand word root which is a part of the complete name of hydrocarbons which will tell you about the number of carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain. So this word root will change according to the number of carbon atom present in the chain. Move on to the next part primary suffix. This is very important part also. This suffix will tell you about the single bond or the double bond or the triple bond present in the carbon chain. Okay guys, so let's have a look to the table which will tell you about the word root which is given to the particular numbering of the carbon atom. As you can see, if there is one carbon atom, your word root will be meth. If two carbon atoms are there, it is eth. Three carbon case, probe. Four carbon, but. Five carbons, pent. 6 carbon hex, 7 carbons hapt, 8 carbon oct, 9 carbons known and 10 carbons means deck. So that was the word root for the different carbon atoms in the chain. The general word root which is allotted for the hydrocarbon chain is elk. Let us move to the next part of the name that is suffix. In suffix, as I have told you, this will indicate the single bond, double bond and triple bond. If you find only single bond in your compound, the suffix which you will be using is ene. If you find there is double bond in your compound, you will be naming it as ene. And if you find triple bond in your compound, you will be naming it as ene. Okay guys, let's start naming the compound by taking the examples. The very first example which I am taking here is CH4. As you can see, there is only one carbon atom in the CH4. The word root given for it will be meth. Or if you can see it on the left hand side, on the table given for the word root. So meth is the word root allotted to it because it is having only one carbon atom. Now, can you see any double bond, a single bond or triple bond in there? Yes, there is only single bond, so I'll use the suffix called in. The second part is done, the first part is done. So combine both the parts and make the name. The name becomes methane. Yeah, methane. The name of this compound is methane. Easy one. Now move on to the slightly tough one. That is the carbon atom, yeah, hydrocarbons having more than one carbon atom. Let us see. One, two, three. 4, 5. As you can see there are 5 carbon atoms in this compound. Oh, it's not a compound. I have to complete it by 
adding hydrogen atom to the skeleton. So this is one bond added to the carbon satisfy the valency by the three hydrogens. This is two, this is two, this is two and here the three carbon hydrogen atoms are there. So let's see to it whether the valency of the all carbon atoms are satisfied or not. One, two, three, four, five. All our five carbon atoms are there. So decide the word root. The word root for the five carbon atom is pent. And can you see any double bond between the carbon and carbon? Any triple bond between the carbon and carbon? No. So you will add it with the aim. So it becomes pent plus aim. The name of the compound becomes pent aim. Hope you understand. These are the alkenes only which I have taken as an example. Let's take an example in which we have to, we can see the double bonds or the triple bonds. The third example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I'm going to add double bond to it and I'm going to tell you how to name them. First of all, I will satisfy the valence with the carbon atom by adding hydrogen to them. So this is one bond and three more bonds are required by the carbon. So this is this. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and this is four. One, two, three and this is four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. So this is your compound. Now name it. For, as I told you, first we'll be starting with the word root. And all we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atoms are there. And the word root which is decided for the 6 carbon atom is hex. Now, now I have to write down the suffix and the suffix which will be decided by the single bond and triple bond and double bond. And I can see that there is only double bond. So I will use the suffix called in. So I will use the suffix called in. Now there is slight change in the rule that is if I find any of the suffix, any of the in or in in my compound, I have to locate it also. That is I have to give the number where the double bond is present. The location of the double bond. So let us start the location. How you will locate it? We have two ways to locate it. Either I can start numbering of the carbon chain from this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or the another way is I can start naming the compound 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. If I move to this way, I will find that my double bond is in between 3 and 4. If I move from that way, I find that my double bond is in between 3 and 4. So there is no issue. I can start naming the numbering the compound either way either from the left or from the right. But the location will be 3 and 4. But by numbering the compound, by giving the location, we will be using the smaller number for the location of double bond. So the smaller one is 3 and the compound will be hex 3 in. So this is the name of this compound, hex 3 in. 3 is indicating the location of the in, in is indicating the double bond and the hex is indicating the 6 carbon atom chain. Move on, move on to the next example where you find some problem in numbering the chain, what way you have to move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all of you can see 5 carbon atom. I am starting with double bond. I am going to now satisfy the valency of the carbon atom by adding hydrogen to them. This, this. No. This cannot be 5. So I have to remove it. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Only one hydrogen atom is added. 1, 2, 3 and 4. One hydrogen atom is added. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now this is your compound now. As I told you, we have two ways always, either this way or that way. This time, I'll find some problem because if I'm starting from this way, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव का बना था द लोकेशन ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड इज बिटवीन फोर एंड फाइव ऑल दो आई इफ आई एम मूविंग फ्रॉम दैट वे द वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव द लोकेशन ऑफ माई डबल बॉन्ड लाइज बिटवीन वन एंड टू इन दीज टाइप ऑफ केसेस यू हैव टू नंबर द चेन इन सच अ वे सो दैट यू कैन गिव द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर टू योर डबल बॉन्ड एंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस वन फोर एंड दिस वन वन आउट ऑफ दीज फोर एंड वन द वन इज अ स्मॉलर वन सो आई विल स्टार्ट नंबरिंग द चेन फ्रॉम दिस वे राधर दैन डूइंग इट इन दिस वे सो लेट्स नेम द कंपाउंड बाय कंसिडरिंग द करेक्ट ऑर्डर या करेक्ट नेमिंग नंबरिंग पैटर्न सो दिस इज आई एम गोइंग टू रन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट नेमिंग द कंपाउंड नाउ इट्स बिकम्स इजियर ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव मीन्स पेंट फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड रूट अनदर थिंग विच इज वॉट इज देयर डबल बॉन्ड और ट्रिपल बॉन्ड ऑब्वियसली देर इज डबल बॉन्ड सो यू विल बी एडिंग इन नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज वेयर दिस डबल बॉन्ड इज लोकेटेड वेयर द डबल बॉन्ड इज लोकेटेड इट इज बिटवीन वन एंड टू एंड द स्मॉलर बिटवीन वन एंड टू इज वन सो आई बी एडिंग वन सेपरेटेड बाय दिस सो राइट डाउन द नेम वॉट विल बी द नेम ऑफ द कंपाउंड द नेम बिकम्स पेंट वन इन so this is the name of this compound so the another example is compound containing triple bond here is the example as you can see this is a chain but here it is the triple bond satisfy the valency by the hydro hydrogens 1 2 3 4 no need to no need for the hydrogen 1 2 3 4 1 2 and Four, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Three, four. So this is your compound completed. Now the next step is to number the chain. If I move on from this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my double, my triple bond is located between two and three. Whereas if I start from that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. My triple bond lies between five and six. So this will not be the way to number the chain, and I will select this way to chain for the numbering of chain. So this two will be the location of my triple bond. Let's name the compound. What is the word root now? Because of presence of seven carbon, it is hept. Hept is indicating there are seven carbon atom. Another part is suffix, and suffix for the triple bond is ine, and where that suffix is located, that will be two. So this compound is hept two ine. Hope it is clear. Let us take an example in which you will be getting double bond and triple bond together. If you find both of them together, what to do then? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Here it is double bond, and here it is triple bond. Now we have two things to locate, and I don't know to what side I have to move on so that I can get the smaller number. Let's see to the problem. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. All the carbon have satisfied their valencies by the hydrogen. Now name the compound by numbering it. The first way is one, two, three, four, five, and six. In this numbering, I get my triple bond between two and three, and my double bond between four and five. If I start from that way, one, two. Three, four, five, and six. If I start from that way, my double bond is between two and three, and my triple bond is in between four and five. So now, I'm, now I am in trouble. What to do, and which has to, which side has to prefer while numbering it? So this way, you have to always remember the rule is double bond is preferred. 
over triple bond. What I mean to say here is, if you find both double bond and triple bond on a simple, on a single place, on the single location that is 2 and 2, you will prefer the double bond and the, you will prefer the way where the double bond is getting the smaller position. So I will start naming the compound from that way and this one will be incorrect. So let us start with the same and remove this last one. So let's start naming the compound. The word root because of the 6 carbon atom becomes hex. And the double bond which is located between 2 and 3 means what is located? In. Where it is located? Between 2 and 3. So the 2 will be indicated the location. The second thing which is present in the compound is triple bond. Where it is located? Between 4 and 5. So the number of the location will be 4. So what will be the, what will be, whose location it is? Ion. So the compound is hex 2 in 4 ion. Let's see through the name one by one. Hex is indicating 7 carbon, sorry, 6 carbon. In is indicating double bond which is located at the second position. Ion is indicating triple bond which is located at, it, located at the fourth position. So I hope you are understanding how to name the compound. The name of the compound becomes hex 2 in 4 I'm <laughs>